were asking for when you approach your Bakansa. Because you now you're doing the unbalance and then you've tried it before and you're successful doing it, muscling it, meaning just pressing it because the muscle is tightening. That's for you to get in that position. Unconsciously, you might not be breathing at all. Because the, the mind overpowers the breath. And the mind is very tricky. And the, the mind pulls us down. Oh, I can do it so easy. I can just breathe. But the element could be were you breathing when you were doing the elements? Or your mind tells you you can do it because you're strong. If you follow the breath, the action of all arm balancing, not just arm balancing, all elements would have to be linked or led by the breath. Bakasana. Because you know that you're lifting, we've talked about this. We are, we are the lightest at the top of our inhalation. Before we exhale, it's like a body. Then we're lightest. Now, if you know that you are, you are at the lightest way, that particular part of your breath, you have to shift your energy all the way of your body towards that direction. And the way of the body in relation to arm balancing is here. So if before, the hips doesn't matter because you know that you can just press. Oh, that, I can do it. But the problem is, are you really good? Now, if you follow the breath, you will notice that even you have to go forward even more because this is the length of your breath. Everyone's breathing is different. If you are a short breather, definitely you won't be able to shift as much. If you are a long breather, and this will happen, especially if your spine the hips become open, your breath becomes more flowing with all the kriyas and the kumbhakas and all the advanced stages of the practice. Thus, you have to go. Because that is your new measurement, that's your new breath. So when you practice the yoga pasta, breathing it. So now you follow your breath. Rather, of course, definitely, your old way of accessing the muscles will help you, but it's less muscular now. It's now more energetic. Energetic meaning. And your understanding of the shifting energy. Because when you inhale, yes, we like what you realize just about that. I feel my breath is rising. When I'm upright, what if I am sitting in the squat? If I breathe in, but since I know I'm doing hand press or the hand bar or the arm bakasana, I go that direction. That suit your breath or suit your body. Now try to do your bakasana. Even if I but then I breathe out, I normally drop. <laughs> All right. Now we will explain the exhalation after okay. this. Yeah. All right, now, try the old way. The point of the breath, you actually lift the, the body up in the air. It's at the top of that inhalation. Clip, and then enter the position. And then when you exhale, you don't exhale fully. You just allow a little bit of that pressure to dissolve. And then just inhale like, like the breath really circulates around this room. So light, so light. Um, but when you become so good with retaining the breath, you can actually breathe normally, but still light. Alright, so in the Bakasana, inhale, left, exhale. Now, when you're holding it, as if you're just breathing. The lungs inside and the rest of the body inside, they remain as passive as possible. Now the question is, am I doing my inner organs harm by not breathing fully with them? Answer. 
No, because I'm not just sorry. Uh, so during the breath retention in Pakaka, or our shallower breath, the organs will still be nourished because of the nadi channels. They're still absorbing that breath retention. So you're still safe. So you're blocked. Now, do you not appreciate this is the energetic significance of retention? Because yeah. the retention is enough to sustain many, many repetitions of the normal breath. So you can hold the element without actually technically breathing. But you still breathe, but so light that you can just allow the breath, the breathing process to happen but not really technically breathing fully. Mm-hmm. It's, the, it's the principle of Kumbhaka. Kumbhaka means breath retention. When I say breath retention, it doesn't mean holding. I, don't, I want to be very specific. The retention there, the retaining, is not the breath itself, not the process of stopping the breath, but what do you retain, Michelle? We retain the prana. The prana. Yes. So this is so this is so taken out of context. They say breath retention. No. The breath is not the air. The breath I'm talking about here is the energy within the breath. You retain, you can find that to keep you nourishing inside even if you don't technically breathe. So it's very helpful in positions which are weight bearing. All asanas, actually. All asanas. Especially those ones which um, put pressure, or uh, inevitably put pressure, for example, this one. Jumping, back beats. Because you can't, you can't be busy breathing in and out when you're sorting out your back beat. Because if you breathe, for example, in the back beat, definitely your spine bounces out. So to keep you open, while you suspend behind for a back bend, you need to retain the prana to keep the lungs and the organs functioning as you work your way to the deeper. Nothing different. Uh, inhale, and that's, your, that's, that's the only technical breath you will do. Retain the energy, not the air. Just release. Now, when you feel the breath goes heavy, why, Michelle? Um, the, um, it has finished absorbing yes. and it's still needs to. It has finished absorbing. Now, it's an indication for you to release. So, up to you. Yeah. The breath is only efficient. It's only pure. It's only useful as long as there's prana in it. When the prana is fully absorbed, the breath will save you. That is an indication for you to release the position. But now, how do you release? Breathing. Breathing. But the breath, the breathing is not as full, but also a light keep the buoyancy, to keep the lightness, to support your way down. That's the full one is Exhale. Shift your weight because that's your breath. Inhale. At the top. You just exhale the whole air out and just breathe light. Right, the release. Be heavier when you inhale. Nothing different from when you feel heavy already. I'm finished. Right, so let's apply that now.